You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Live. Well, we've talked about this earlier. We have been covering the Henry Ruggs situation extensively on the channel. I always start out with that, but we have. Uh, we feel like that it has not gotten the appropriate amount of media coverage. I mean, they'll wear you out on Aaron Rodgers uh, over some words, but Henry Ruggs maliciously killed somebody in a car crash, and uh, the media just sort of, uh, I'm not going to say they ignored it, but they certainly didn't give it the attention that it should get and that it should continue to get. Nobody is doing much on a daily basis to keep you uh, up to date on what's going on with that horrible, horrible accident. Well, over on the main channel, uh, I was going to say the big channel, but hell, in a year, who knows where this one's at at the rate it's growing. Thank you, people. Uh, we cover Mark Davis, the Raiders, quite a bit because of everything that happened with John Gruden getting unjustly fired. Well... Enter Mark Davis into this Henry Rugg situation because I got to tell you, uh, Mark Davis, in my opinion, in the last month or so, has sort of exposed himself as one of the more stand-up NFL owners that there is out there. Uh, he He's come out. He's been pretty vocal about the fact that he felt like John Gruden was done wrong. And now, Mark Davis did something that I can only feel like that maybe his father, Al, would have done in this situation. Um, Mark Davis went to Tina Tentor's funeral yesterday. The Henry Ruggs victim, uh, Mark Davis, the owner of the Raiders, showed up to show his respect, respect to this woman after losing her life. Um, I got to tell you, let's see if we can... Uh, there, there he is, Mark Davis, getting out of a Cadillac SUV to go into the funeral uh, to show his respect to the young lady that lost her life. Uh, big ups to Mark Davis for this. Mark Davis, this is TMZ. Mark Davis was one of about 100 people who attended the funeral services of Tina Tenter on Thursday, paying respects to the woman who died in a car crash. The authorities say his former player, Henry Ruggs caused. I don't think there's any disputing in that. The Raiders owner showed up to the somber ceremony in a black suit, white collar and tie, and sat in a pew at the local church where the services for Tenter went down. Davis stayed for the entire hour-long event and did not speak to the media afterwards. So he did this not wanting to garner media attention. He wasn't looking to come out like some hero or some virtue signaler. Good job, Mark Davis. As we previously reported, Tenter died along with her dog, Max, after cops say Ruggs crashed his Corvette into the back of their Toyota on a street in Las Vegas November 2nd. And they go on to talk about how fast he was going. Uh, we've been over that. Ruggs has been... Uh, since been hit with five charges over the incident, including four felonies and prosecutors who say he's facing over 50 years behind bars. As for Tenter and her family, her attorney said in a statement following the crash that they're, quote, devastated over the loss of the 23-year-old. Quote, family was everything to Tina, the lawyer said, and she was the light of her parents' life. And, of course, um, you know, rest in peace. It, it's a horrible situation. Um, I said, I, I, I don't like the term accident being wrapped around something like this crash, um, crash is more approach appropriate maybe, but to me, this is not an accident as in somebody accidentally ran a stop sign. Somebody forgot to break behind you and hit you. No, you've got a man that. Um, a grown man that got behind the wheel of a car, intoxicated, chose to drive at a absolute absurdly dangerous rate of speed, uh, was not paying attention, and slammed in the back of, of somebody's car, killing her and her dog. It's a terrible situation. But um, 
I got to give Mark Davis some credit. I wanted to make a video on this because there's so much crap that comes out surrounding sports owners and the leagues. And a lot of times these people just don't do the things they should do, the right thing to do. And Mark Davis showed up to this funeral wanting to show his respect and didn't talk to the media. Okay, so that tells you he come in, coat on, slipped in, stayed for the entire service, didn't make a cameo for 20 minutes, 10 minutes. Here I am. I want to look great. Yada, yada, yada. Stays for the hour, listens to the whole service, gets up and leaves. Good job, Mark Davis. And, of course, we will keep you on tabs because John Gruden is thinking about suing the NFL. And Mark Davis has been outspoken against the NFL, a lot like his father. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.